Okay, folks, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center today, and we're going to talk to you about the Sylvan Go. This thing is a utility trailer and a pop-up all in one. So let's, uh, for more information on this particular RV or any others, be sure to ask for Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, when you call, when you email, or if you stop by. Also, check out my other videos. Shoot me some comments. If there's something you'd like to see um, reviewed, please uh, send me a message. Be more than happy to try to accommodate your request. So let's get on to the Sylvan Go. Here we go. So the really cool thing about the Sylvan Go is when you are traveling or when you have it stored, this is what it looks like. And then when you set it up, this is what you have. But the cool thing about this is the fact that it is only 840 pounds the way it sits there. You could put up to 160 pounds on the roof, even when you're cranking it up. Now you wonder, how does this roof go up? Well, so up in the front here, what you have is a little crank handle, and that just goes right in there. You notice you're gonna have four stabilizers. You have two in the front, two in the back. You got a little storage bin up in the front, but you're able to put kayaks on the roof, bicycles, you know, whatever you'd like. Now they also have, in the event that you were to put a long canoe on there, they have an extension and all it is is very simple. They have a three foot extension that you just take this piece off and you're able to go ahead and add an extension so that that way there, your canoe does not hit your vehicle. Um, but so let's, let me show you some of the different configurations that we have on this. So as you can see, is that's what it looks like down. This is what it looks like up. Now, the different configurations. I mean, this thing is so light, a little Mini Cooper can, can uh, pull it. I mean, pretty much almost any vehicle could pull this. Um, see, you know, there's your kayaks. You, have, you can put storage bins up underneath while you're doing it. You can have the bikes on it do the same thing. Or you can even crank it up halfway and put bigger stuff in it, whether it be, you know, totes, whether it be a four-wheeler, you know, if you're, I mean, this thing is light enough that let's say you're a hunter, you want to go out hunting, you bring your four-wheeler with you, you take the four-wheeler off, um, disconnect it from your truck, put it on the four-wheeler, bring it on out in the woods, and you're, you're good to go. See, you put kayaks inside of it. You put bikes on the roof. You can also use this as a utility trailer. So the roof does come off, basically four bolts, comes right on off and you're able to use it as a utility trailer, you know, to get appliances, uh, lumber or whatever. You know, if you need it for motocross. Like I say, you can even leave your bike and kayaks on it when you're using it if you don't need to. Now, the one thing I don't have on the one that's in here is, as you can see, your little canopy that goes across the front. So that kind of shows you what that looks like. So let's take a look at what we have here. So you see the canopy would just attach right on here. It's just a zipper and it attaches right here, but very, very simple to go up. As you can see, the sale price we have on these folks, and that and one thing we do not do, we do not charge you for prep and freight and all that stuff over top of it. We don't have documentation fees. We don't have public official fees or anything. So you can see they have this one, you have it set up for two beds, your bed on either side. Now you can sleep up to six people on this folks, if you wanted to, it has another item that looks like this table up top here, stored up above there, the screen. And what happens is those two would go across here and there's two more mattresses. So you can sleep four on the top and then there is a padding that we put underneath down here. So if need be, two people in sleeping bags could slide right up underneath there. Might not be the most comfortable thing, but it's possible if you needed that. As you can see, as you come inside, you see the um, Sylvan uh, Sport um, Mr. Stow-It-All where you can put things in there, store your clothes, store some different things. Uh, these mattresses, they self-inflate. All you do is um, open a little knob on, on the one end and they'll self-inflate in about 15 minutes. Now you can have this where you can have it privacy or you can have it where the uh, plastic is on it or if you want, unzip that and now you have netting. You have nice, and it's the smallest netting available. And that way there you can have a cross ventilation. You can see you also have two privacy windows here. There's one here, um, you know, other windows. If you want to call them moon windows, if you want to call them star glazing windows, you know, as you're laying, you can be looking up at the stars and so forth. Uh, that roof, it is netted there. That way there a hot air can go up through 
up through the roof itself. And then of course, down below, you have the netting down here as well. You just open these up and let more airflow on both sides here. See, you know, if you wanna store your phone at night, you can got a little pocket right here. You can just drop it right on in and you're good to go. So this is the Sylvan Sport Go. And I hope you enjoyed the video. For more information on this particular camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, you ask for Paul the Air Force guy. Appreciate you watching. Love the comments, good or bad. And keep tuned because I've got some special things coming down the road. Thank you.